It's no secret that right now an electric car race is unfolding between major automakers. The newcomer Tesla turned the industry around and forced other companies to throw all their energy into the development of the electric direction. While the automotive giants, along with promising startups, are trying to keep up with Elon Musk, an even bigger battle is taking place behind the scenes. The battery battle. According to current forecasts, there will be over 20 million registered electric cars worldwide by 2030. Each of them needs an efficient and high-tech battery, capable of delivering outstanding performance to the car. Welcome to the Innovative Tech Channel. Find out right now why LG and GM are building a giant battery plant for $2.3 billion. Everyone is familiar with General Motors. It is the largest American corporation in the production of automobiles and is part of the Big Three. Founded in 1908, the company has been one of the leaders in the global automotive industry for over a hundred years. However, by the 21st century, GM was in pretty bad shape, which led to the bankruptcy of the automaker and the sale of 72% of the shares to the US and Canadian governments. It all ended with a public offering of shares on the stock exchange and a global reshaping of the corporation. From this moment that the modern era of the revival of the once great company begins. The revamped General Motors is betting on an electric future, as Tesla is revolutionizing the auto industry right in front of our eyes. At the end of April, the manufacturer announced that by 2035 it plans to completely abandon internal combustion engines and switch to vehicles with zero exhaust emissions. Earlier, the company unveiled the reborn Hammer, which is no longer an electric monster. It is now an electric SUV. The transition to alternative fuels awaits all General Motors products. The current reality is that the manufacturer sold 2.55 million cars in 2019, of which the electric Chevy Bolt accounted for only 20,000 cars. This should change completely as GM is investing $27 billion in electric cars by 2025. One of the key points of the master plan is the production of batteries, in partnership with LG Energy Solutions. In 2020, the companies announced that creation of a joint venture plan for the production of batteries for electric cars, the capacity of which is located in Lordstown, Ohio. The main construction phase of the Ultium cells has just been completed. The declared capacity of the project should be 30 gigawatt hours. Analysts at LG and General Motors understand that a single battery factory is not enough to meet the rapidly growing demand for electric vehicles. Just look at the titanic ambitions of Tesla and Elon Musk's factories, which are mushrooming around the world. GM is looking to retain its reputation as one of the world's most successful car makers and will not hesitate. They are also rapidly ramping up battery production. This is the only way the company can compete with the main players in the field of light electric vehicles, such as Tesla, Audi, Neo, Volkswagen, etc. The spot under the new plant was not chosen by chance. The construction site will be leased from General Motors. The new Ultium Cells facility will be located in Spring Hill, Tennessee, and the storage cells produced there will be shipped to nearby GM assembly facilities. Investment in the project is $2.3 billion, which is comparable to the funds invested in the construction of a plant in Ohio. The number of jobs is 1,300 employees, and the total area of the facility exceeds 2.8 million square feet. The design capacity of the new Ultium Cells plant has not been specified, but the investment suggests it will be comparable to Lordstown's capacity of 30 gigawatt hours per year. You are able to notice that the factories LG and General Motors have a lot in common. However, it seems so only at first glance. The Lordstown facility will supply batteries for the new Hammer EV and other vehicles that have been transferred to electric traction. Proven technologies will be used for these purposes. The situation is different for the Tennessee Battery Plant. The management positions the facility as an innovative platform, where LG and GM intend to launch a new generation of products. The newly unveiled Cadillac Lyric crossover, which is slated for production in late 2022, will receive its storage cells from this factory. Initially, the batteries for the car were planned to be supplied from Ohio, 
but General Motors quickly abandoned such a plan. It is worth noting that the Spring Hill plant will only start operating in 2023, and there is a high likelihood of a delay in the entry of the Cadillac Lyric crossover into the market. As we can see right in front of us, car manufacturers, along with leading battery suppliers, are waging a global battle for the future of the electric car market. Chemical corporations are increasingly forging close partnerships with shipping companies, Tesla and Panasonic, LG and General Motors, Volkswagen and SK Innovation are all examples of fruitful work. And now, two types of relationships have been formed in this industry. In the first case, battery manufacturers simply sell their products to automakers, as is the case with Volkswagen. In the second, the companies create joint ventures. This is exactly what General Motors and LG did. Obviously, in the future, there will be a third option, which Tesla is currently working on. The company intends to establish its own production of storage cells, relying solely on its own capacities. It is important to note here that the brainchild of Elon Musk has long ceased to be an ordinary automaker and more resembles an energy company. One thing is for sure, in the coming years, the world will receive dozens of new plants for the production of storage cells. All this will take place as part of the global race to dominate the electric car market. We can only hope that the suppliers of raw materials for batteries will be able to meet the growing demand, and we will not witness a large-scale crisis in this area. Do you think General Motors will be able to take a place as one of the top three largest electric car manufacturers? Please share your opinion in the comments under the video. As well as, do not forget to press thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to learn more about high technologies and cool eco projects. You are on the Innovative Text channel. Take care.